Hydrodynamica is a um, flow simulator for incompressible fluids. Uh, it's made by a university student from Poland. Um, and what I'm doing now is just drawing um, a scene. The green stuff's where the water comes out of, and the red's where, where it um, exits. Now, um, as you can see, it's not very detailed, but you can actually change the size of the grid. So you can uh, put a bit more complicated stuff in there. And I'll quickly give you a rundown of the that Reynolds number thing. It's basically turbulence. A uh, higher Reynolds number means that your um, flow is able to get more turbulent. Uh, the higher the number, the more detail, basically. Okay, and I'm about to finish uh, drawing this. You might want to add borders, I'm not sure. You click calculate it and it does it for you in real time. So you can see the flow before you um, render a movie, which does take a while. And you've got all these options on the side, which I'll go through. Velocity, um, streamlines, there's pressure fields and um, velocity fields as well, which are the red, green and blue. And as you can see, it's uh, 160 times 80, that's the resolution, but you can actually um, increase that, especially if you're going to output a movie. You can uh, save to a PowerPoint, I'm not sure if it might be PowerPoint, PPM, or just an AVI file. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to show you um, some movies I pre-recorded earlier of a one of the save levels. Now this is one of the first times using this thing, so I didn't enable the pressure fields. But um, I'll just show you this anyway, just so you can see how the flow develops and all the turbulence and everything. And this goes for about another minute, but um, I made a short movie afterwards, which is the start of this with the actual fields enabled. So it's a bit more colourful. And I should also mention that um, when this outputs a file, It'll um, make it 50 frames per second, so you're missing out on about 20 frames of action. It looks looks smoother on your computer than it would on um, YouTube. All right, I'm not going to do any more voiceovers until the next video starts, so I'll just let this play out. Okay, now for this one, I've um, enabled all the fields and I've slowed it down to 30 frames per second so you can see it progress a bit slower.